Jai Sai Ram. Namaskar and welcome to our online yoga sessions brought to you by Sati Sai Baba Centers twice a week in the comfort of your own home. It is hoped that these online yoga sessions are taken full advantage of to provide us with a healthy body and a healthy mind for a healthy inner divine self. Introducing our yoga teacher, Mr. Ashok Jetma. Ashok has been an active member of Satisai Centers for the past 20 years and was also a Satisai Baba Center President back in 1998. He has been an encouraging influence on many people around him and is a trained yoga teacher through the Swami Ramdev training programs. Following the teachings of Bhagwan Sri Sati Sai Baba, as a community service, he has been teaching yoga free of charge for the past 15 years. Please enjoy these sessions, stay fit, and over to Ashok. Welcome to this morning's yoga class, everybody. Before we begin, we'll Start with the press. Oh, oh, oh. We pray to our beloved Swami to keep us fit in mind and heart body and soul, to carry out and fulfill the purpose of life. Om Sahanavatu Sahanabhunatu Sahaviryam Karvavahe Tejasvinavaditamastu Mavidvishavahe Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And we'll stand up without support. Should be easier now for everybody. We'll do the warming up exercise first. And then we slightly faster than usual. First one, jogging please. One minute. Three types of jogging. First, follow me. Let's straighten your arms. And change. Get the knee as high as possible. Faster. And relax. Just relax to regain your normal breath. Feet slightly apart, hands hanging loosely by the side. Focus on deep breathing. Now, uh, next one is squatting. Three types of sit-ups. Feet slightly apart. Right hand in the front, slight pressure on the earlobes. Then counts again. Breathing, half squat. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Feet apart, hands in the front, sitting on each leg. We'll breathe in, right leg first. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we're squatting on each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax with a bit apart, and hands hanging by the side. Focus on deep breathing. Now hands in the front, deep breathing. When we spread our hands apart, we breathe in deeply. When we bring the hands closer, we breathe out completely. Let's start. And relax. Now, three types of bending forward, sideways, and bending with a twist. Okay? Feet slightly apart. Breathe in, raise your arms up. Breathe out, bend forward. Try to touch your toes. Breathe in, come up. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Sideways bending, feet apart. Breathing. One, breathe out, breathe in. Two, follow the breathing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax and spread by the side of the shoulders. Breathe in deeply first. And breathe out, bend forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Relax. By doing deep breathing, hands in the front, sideways breathing. Start breathing out, moving the hands towards the left side, breathe in, go towards the right. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and breathe in. Jumping jack. Follow me. 
16 counts, four jumps, first four exercises, then four jumps, and then four exercises and four jumps. If you folk, it is also for giving exercise to the mind as well as the body. So follow it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now do deep breathing to regain your normal breath. Or you could do Mukdoti. Breathe in. When bending your head, hands on the knees. Start breathing in, raising your head. Blow the breath away. By lowering the head. Next one is Surya Namaskar. We'll do this with mantra, feet slightly apart, hands, palms together. Om Vitrai Namaha. Breathe in, one. Breathe out, two. Breathe in, three. Breathe out, four, breathe in and breathe out, five, hold the breath out, six, breathe in, seven, breathe out, eight, breathe in and breathe out, nine, breathe in, ten, breathe out, eleven, breathe in, twelve. That's the breathing sequence. Now I will only count the numbers. Om Ravaye Namaha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Om Surya Namaha. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Om Manwe Namaha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Om Kagai Namaha. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Breathe out and relax. Now relax. With feet apart. Focus on deep breathing. Breathe in deeply. Slowly. Keep doing that. 
to regain your normal breath. Now some standing posture one, star posture. Feet slide apart, everybody's belly. Should be very simple. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five, and six. And relax. We did it five times. At home, you can do it up to 10 or 15, 20, whatever you choose. Next one is a triangle posture. Hands by the side. This right leg will be straight, right hand straight as well in one line. Breathe in and hold the posture. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right hand on the floor, left hand goes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Both the palms on the floor, bring the other leg forward, and the leg that is in the front goes at the back. Right hand next to the right foot, left hand up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left hand on the floor, right hand goes up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put the palms on the floor, bring the other leg forward, and stand up. Relax with feet apart, hands hang hanging loosely by the side. Focus on deep breathing till you regain your normal uh, breathing. First, standing, we've done one star posture, this one, interlock the palms, put the hands over your head, normal tadasan, breathe in, palms facing the ceiling, straighten yourself, come on your toes, hold the posture, breathe out, come down. Sis. Simple, straightforward Tadasan. Very good for spine. Breathe in, start breathing in, raise your hands up, come on the toes slowly, try to touch the ceiling, hold the posture, start breathing out, come down. Third time, start breathing in. Start breathing out, slowly come down, and relax for a couple of deep breaths to regain your normal breath. Now interlock the palms, period tarasana which we have been doing regularly. Interlock the palms, 
Raise the hand above your head. Breathe in. Bend towards the left side. Breathe out, come in the middle. Breathe in, right side. Breathe out, in the middle. Breathe in, left side. Breathe out, in the middle. Breathe in, right side. Breathe out, in the middle, and relax. Now we'll do warrior posture. Before going into the warrior posture, we'll do the backward bending. Thumbs at the back, fingers in the front, feet apart. We'll breathe in and bend backwards. Very good. If you suffer from water retention, this is a good posture. It helps to get rid of the excess water. Now, chances are when you breathe in and bend backwards, you could feel dizzy. If you feel dizzy, please sit down and don't continue with the posture. Breathe in deeply. Hold the posture, hold the breath and backwards as much as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathe out and come in. One more time, breathe in deeply. Hold the breath, bend backwards. This time you should be able to bend a bit more. Hold the posture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Start breathing out and stretch them. And relax. Breathe in deeply, slowly breathe out. Regain your normal breath. Okay. Now, the full stretch of the body, warrior posture or Hanuman posture or Anjanya Asan, whatever you call it. But this gives the body a full stretch. Right leg flat on the floor, left leg bent from the knee. Push yourself forward so there is no gap between the thigh and the calf muscles. Look at the ceiling, bend backwards as much as you can. Breathe in deeply. Raise both the hands up and hold the posture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Arms on the floor. Bring the other leg forward. Same thing again. Get into the position. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It out. Arms on the floor. Bring the other leg forward. Stand up. And we'll sit down to do the breathing exercises. The front arms. Fingers in Gyan Mudra. This is tip of the index finger and the tip of the thumb touching each other. It's called Gyan Mudra. Back of the palm on the knees, elbows near the chest. First pranayam is Basrika pranayam. In this pranayam, we breathe in deeply till no more air goes into your lungs. Then slowly breathe out till no more air remains in your lungs. This is the slower version in which you improve the capacity of the lungs and strengthens the lung muscles as well. You can do this faster as well. But in the beginning, we'll do the slower ones. You should do this for five minutes at home regularly to improve the capacity of your lungs as well as strengthen the lung muscles. 
So let's start. Breathe in deeply. And slowly breathe out. The timing of breathing in and breathing out should be same. Two and a half seconds to breathe in, two and a half seconds to breathe out. So in one minute, you can do about 12 breaths. Carry on doing it, meanwhile I'll tell you the benefits of it. Like I mentioned, it improves the capacity of the lungs from 400 milliliters of breathing in of air, it jumps up to about 5,000 milliliters. So we, we start using 95 to 100% of our lungs and the lung muscles also get strengthened. And when there is more oxygen in your blood, your immune system and all the rest of the organs of your body gets more oxygen, gets stronger and starts functioning better. This prime helps to cure all kinds of breathing problems. It helps in cold and cups as well. It helps in asthma as well. And it gives you, it gets away your laziness. It makes you feel active because each and every cell of your body gets charged up with oxygen. And relax with your eyes closed, focus your mind on the third eye and observe your breathing. And relax. Next one is Kapalbhati Pranayam. Again, word of caution. Ladies who are expecting should not do it. Also, ladies who are in their monthly cycle should avoid doing it. On top of it, anybody who has had any kind of operation in the last six months should not do any exercise at all without consulting their doctors. In this pranayam, you breathe in, no, you don't focus on breathing in, you focus on breathing out forcefully all the time. And when you breathe out forcefully, your stomach will be pulled in. As soon as you release your stomach, breathing in will take place. So you are not focusing on breathing in at all. It's always focusing on breathing out forcefully. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> Again, a reminder, you are forcefully breathing out. And every time you breathe out, your stomach will be pulled in. When you release your stomach, breathing in will take, take place by itself. Don't worry, nothing will happen to you. You will be breathing in, but you focus only on breathing out forcefully.
Continue doing so for a while. Meanwhile, I'll tell you the benefits of it. As you can feel it, it massages all the abdominal organs and makes them work better. This program helps in diabetes as well as any abdominal problems that one can have. It helps in liver problems, kidney problems, intestinal, stomach, pancreas, spleen, all these things get massaged and slowly they start working better. It helps to reduce and burn all the fat from the waist line as well as from the main body. So if done for a longer time, it will make, help you reduce the weight as well. Mentally, it helps to calm the mind down. You will realize that when you do this plan, you're not thinking, you're only focused on breath. And hence your mind gets complete relaxation. Spiritually, it helps to awaken the Kundalini Shakti. People do this pranayam before doing meditation as well because it helps to calm the mind down completely. You are recommended to do 10 minutes of it every day if you are a healthy person. You can do two rounds of five minutes each or you can do one big round of 10 minutes. With practice, you'll be able to do it for a longer time as well. And relax with your eyes closed, focus your mind on the third eye, observe your breathing. And relax. The third pranam is Anulom Vilom Pranam, breathing through alternate nostril. So breathe in deeply first. Mudra will be Gyan Mudra, breathe in deeply, close the right nostril, breathe out through left nostril, then breathe in from the left nostril. Close the left nostril with the middle two fingers, open the right, breathe out, then breathe in from right, close the right with the thumb, open the left, breathe out, then breathe in from the left, open the right, breathe out, and breathe in, close the right and open the left, breathe out, and breathe in, Close the left, open the right, breathe out and continue doing so for the next few minutes. Meanwhile, I'll tell you the benefits of it. One way our body temperature is controlled is by breathing through alternate nostril. Left nostril always helps to cool the body down, while breathing in from the right nostril, it always helps to warm the body up. Now in the hot day, you will notice that your right nostril is not working very well. You feel slightly blocked, while left nostril is working more to control the body temperature. Same thing happens in winter time. Your left nostril will be working slightly less. Your right nostril will be working more to keep the body temperature up. It is also known as Nari Shodhan Pranayam, which means it helps to clear all the Naris of the body. There are some 72 lakhs or 72,000, I don't know, but about that many Naris in the body, which this Pranayam helps to clear and hence the flow of energy becomes very easy and each and every 
organ of our body gets the energy that creates is created by breathing in and out. This pranayama also helps to reduce the blood pressure. It helps to clear the arteries of the heart if they are blocked. But you have to do this pranayama for a longer time if you have got any issues, health issues. Healthy person should do it for 10 minutes every day. Person with problems should do it for a longer time. It helps to remove the negativity of the body and mind. You become joyous and happy. And spiritually, it helps to awaken the Kundalini Shakti as well as purify the chakras. It helps to cure all kinds of diseases or avoid getting all kinds of diseases if you do this regularly now when you are healthy. And relax with your eyes closed, focus on the third eye and observe your breathing. And relax. Next one is Brahmani Prime. Four finger on the forehead, middle finger gently on the eyelid, third and fourth finger on the bridge of the nose. Thumb ready to press the earlobe to close the ear completely. Before doing that, we'll breathe in deeply and make a humming sound like a bee three times. Okay, so let's breathe in deeply. Close the ear. Mm -hmm. Recite Om three times, 80% Om, 20% Om, begin from the navel, so breathe in deeply, we'll do it three times. close, focus your mind on the third eye in between the two eyebrows and silently in your mind keep chanting Om Om without entertaining any other thoughts. Obviously other thoughts will arise but don't chase them, you stay steadfast focused on chanting Om.
Raise your hands above your head without opening the eyes. Rub the palms together to warm them up. Once they are warm, place them over your eyes. Wait till the temperature of the palms and the face becomes normal. And slowly lower the palms. And relax. Straighten your legs in front of you. Light exercise to improve the blood circulation in each and every joint. These exercises, you must do it. And once you practice, you will be able to do it far faster and you'll be able to take less time to do all of them. Okay. Join me now. Stretch the toes. One, tighten them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Push the toes forward. One, towards you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Pit circles. Clockwise as well as anti clockwise. Ten. Nine and ten. Opposite. Ten. Feet apart. Small toe touches the floor. Bend the feet inwards so big toe touches the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Feet apart by 25 to 30 inch. Hands up. Left hand will touch the right toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Feet together. Raise the knees up about four to five inches and gently drop them three times. One, two, and three. Now joint exercise for the knees and the hips. Pick the sole of the right foot. Place it on the root of the left thigh. Right hand on the right knee. And left hand hold the toes in your end of the right Good. Press the knee to the floor and raise it up to your chest. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Hold the lower half of your leg in your hands. Shake it about. Relax. Hold the sole in your hand. The right foot in your hand, pull it to touch your nose with the big toe three times. One, two, three. Relax the right leg, do the same with the left leg. Push the knee to the floor, raise it up to the chest and down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold the lower half of your legs in your hands. Rock it about. Relax. Hold the sole in your hand. Pull it to touch your nose three times with the big toe. One, two, three, and relax. Now, the butterfly sequence. Sole of both the feet together. Interlock the palms to hold the toes in your hand. Push the knee towards the floor, then raise it up. Touch your elbows down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the feet a bit more closure to the body and fast movement. And relax. Same thing with the hands. Stretch your hands in front of you. Stretch the fingers. One, tighten them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Point the finger, fingers towards the ceiling, lower the palms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Make a fist with the thumb inside the palms. Rotate the fist clockwise ten times and anti clockwise ten times. Opposite. Open the palms and twist. One, twist inwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the thumbs up. Bend the elbows. Touch the shoulder with the thumbs. One, straighten them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Palms on the knees, shake your shoulders to get rid of the tiredness. Now we'll breathe in, hold the breath, and do the shoulder circles three times forward and three times in reverse. Okay, breathe in deeply, hold the breath, forward circles. Reverse. Breathe out and relax. Fingers on the shoulders, elbows touching, forward six and in reverse six. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six. And relax. Raise the hand above your head, hold each hand by the wrist with the other. Breathe in, pull the hands towards the left side, head will stay straight, pull it, breathe out and relax. Breathe in, opposite side, breathe out and relax. Interlock the palms behind the head, breathe in deeply. Hold the breath, push the head backwards and with the hand stop it going backwards. Breathe out and relax. Have the hands on the forehead, breathe in deeply. Push the head forward, stop the head going forward. Breathe out, relax, right hand on the right cheek. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out and relax. Same thing with the left hand. Left hand on the left cheek. Breathe in deeply. Push the head towards the left. With the hand, stop it going towards the left. Breathe out and relax. Now we we'll sit in the Rajasthan. Sitting on the hills. Fingers in. Vayu Mudra, back straight, head straight, we look down, straight, look up, straight, look down, straight, look up, straight. Now tilt the head towards the left, straight, right, straight, left, straight, Right, straight. Now twist the head and look as far behind the left shoulder as possible. And slowly start coming straight. Look as far behind the right shoulder as possible. Straight, left again, straight, right again, and straight. Only the world of caution for the people suffering from Multi, the bone, the bone, diseases of the bones should do it very slowly because otherwise it creates problems in the neck. 
or should avoid doing some of the postures, uh, some of these exercises of the neck. The next is, make the fist with the hand, put, push the knuckles of both hands with each other, thumb touching each other, hold it near the lower chest, breathe in deeply, hold the breath and push the hands away from you, straighten the elbows without the knuckles coming apart. Start breathing out and bring the knuckles towards your chest again. One more time, breathe in deeply, push them away. Second time, it should be easier for you to strengthen your, straighten your elbows. Breathe out and relax. Now the dirty exercise or grinding exercise, fit together, interlock the palms, elbows should be straight, we'll do six clockwise and six anti-clockwise. At home you can do it for longer time, in the evening or whenever you choose to. Breathe in deeply, go backwards, start breathing out, go over the toes, one, Two, three, four, five, six. And it clockwise. One, two, three, four. Five and six and relax. You lie down in Savasan, feet apart by 15 to 20 inches, hands away from the body by five to six inches or more, palms facing the ceiling. Let all the muscles of the body be loose. Focus on deep breath. Feet together, hands by the side. We'll raise each leg while breathing in and lower it by breathing out five times. So we we'll begin with the right, start breathing in, raise the leg up, breathe out, lower it. Left, breathe in, breathe out, lower it. Breathe in, breathe out, lower the right. Left, breathe in, breathe out. Right, left, right, left, again right. Left and relax. Fit together, breathe in, hold the breath, and we'll raise both the legs up and lower them three to four, five times. Breathe in deeply, hold the breath, raise the legs to 45 degrees, lower it. One, two, three, four and five. Now breathe in deeply, hold the breath, raise both the legs inch by inch to 90 degrees and hold the legs there, normal breathing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, breathe in deeply once more, hold the breath, lower the legs inch by inch to the floor, and relax.
Now, cycling with both the legs. No, leg circles first. We'll do five times each. Breathe in, raise the right leg up. Clockwise circles five times and anti-clockwise five times. Start. One, two, three, four, and five. Opposite. One, two, three, four, and five. And relax the right leg. Breathe in and raise the left leg up. Clockwise circles. One, two, three, four, and five. Opposite. One, two, three, four, and five. And relax. Relax for one or two deep breaths. Breathe in again, leg circles with both the legs, three clockwise, three anti-clockwise. Breathe in deeply, raise both the legs up, clockwise three times. One, two, three, opposite. One, two, and three, and relax. Relax. To regain your normal breath, three, three to four deep breaths. Breathe in deeply, slowly breathe out. Breathe in deeply, slowly breathe out. Breathe in deeply, slowly breathe out. Breathe. Legs together, hands by the side. Cycling with both the legs. Now, those of you who can't do cycling with both the legs, they can do it. Let me show you. They can do this. And the people who are strong enough to do cycling with both the legs should follow me. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Start cycling with forward cycling. One. Two. Three. Four, five, reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. And relax. Relax in Savasan. Let all the muscles be loose and focus on deep breathing. Breathe in deeply. Slowly breathe out. Breathe in deeply. Slowly breathe out. Breathe in deeply. Slowly breathe out. Fit together, hands by the side. Slide the right hand above your head. Bend the left leg from the knee. Roll on to the right side. Put your palm up. Left palm on the floor, on the right side, with the support of your left arm, come to the sitting posture. Now, the sitting posture, legs straight, palms next to the hip. Elbows straight, breathe in and push the chest out and hold the posture. It's called Dandasan, hold the posture, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathe out and relax. Next, sitting posture. Breathe in and raise your hands up. Breathe out, go forward, hold the big toe in your index finger and the thumb. And push yourself down to touch your knees with your forehead or your nose. Paschimottanasana. Breathe in. Come up. And relax. Once again, breathe in. 
Raise your hands up, breathe out. Hold the toes, big toe, go down. Hold the posture for a few seconds. Start breathing in, come up, breathe out, and relax. You will sit in Vajasan. Mandukya posture. Make a fist with thumb inside the palms. Place them on either side of the navel. We'll breathe in deeply first. Then breathe out fully. Pull in the stomach. No breathing in now. Bend forward, 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 and look at the wall opposite. Start breathing in and come up. Second version, left palm on the navel, right palm on top of it. Breathe in deeply, breathe out fully, pull in the stomach, press the palms on the navel, bend forward till your chest touches the thighs and look at the wall opposite and hold the posture. Start breathing in, come up and relax. A gentle twist now. You'll still showing you from the sideways. Right hand will be on the left shoulder, left hip, and the left hand will go towards the right hip from behind and twist and look as far behind on the left shoulder as possible. Breathe out, straight. Do the opposite side now. Breathe out and relax. Shashank Asin. Be seated on the Rajasan. Breathe in, raise your hands up. Start breathing out. Hands goes down on the floor, elbows, forehead touching the floor. And stay like this, hold the posture. Breathing can be normal. Start breathing in, use your hands up, breathe out, and relax. We lie down on our stomach, posture on the stomach. First one, Makarasan, feet apart by 15 to 20 inches. Toes must be pointing outwards. Hands bent from the elbows, left palm on the floor, right palm on top of it forehead or chin on top of the palms to relax. It's also known as crocodile posture. If you look at the crocodile, first thing in the morning, they come out of the river or lake, and they bask in the sun like this, without moving at all. Best posture to relax. Fit together, breathe in deeply, hold the breath, push yourself up, and look at the ceiling and hold the posture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathe out, go down. We can also do this faster. Breathe in and do it five times, up and down. Breathe in, hold the breath. Three, four, and five. And relax. Three, 
Next one. Put your hands behind the back. Interlock the palms. Interlock the elbows. Breathe in and push. Pull your hands backwards and ra raise your head and chest up. Hold the posture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten, breathe out, go down. Now, next posture, palm next to the hips, fingers pointing towards the legs, elbows bent. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath, push the palms on the floor to raise your legs up and your chest up. Only stomach and palms are on the floor. Breathe out and lower yourself. Again, relax in Makrasan. Feet together. Bow posture. Dhanurasan. Hold the ankles in your hand. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Push yourself up, thighs comes up, chest comes up, stomach remains on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathe out and lower yourself. Turn over in Savasan. Relax for a couple of deep breaths. Breathe in deeply. Slowly breathe out. Breathe in deeply. Slowly breathe out. Breathe in deeply. Slowly breathe out. Feet together, hands by the side. First posture. No cushion. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Raise yourself up. And hold the posture. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathe out and lower yourself. Next one, Pawan Moktasin. With both the feet, breathe in deeply. Raise the legs up, bend them from the knees. Interlock the palms and hold the legs just below the knees. Breathe out, pull the knees towards the chest. Raise your head in between the knees and hold the posture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathe in and lower the head and lower the legs. Relax for a couple of deep breaths. Bend the legs from the knee. Feet touching each other. Hands spread by the side of the shoulders, palms facing the ceiling. Breathe in. And lower the knees to the right side and look towards the left. The knees should be on the floor, both of them. Breathe out, raise the knees up. Relax for one, two deep breaths. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out slowly. Breathe in deeply. 
Breathe out slowly. Once again, breathe in deeply. Hold the breath, push the knees to the left side and look towards the right. Hold the posture. Start breathing out, raise the knees up, relax. Feet apart by 15 inches. Breathe in deeply, hold the breath and lower the knees to the right side so the left knee will touch the sole of the right foot and look towards the left. Breathe out, raise the knees up. Once again, breathe in deeply. Hold the breath, push the knees to the left side. The right knee will touch the sole of the left foot and look towards the right. Hold the posture. Breathe out, raise the knees up, straighten the legs, relax in Savasana. QRT twice, breathe in deeply, feet together, hands by the side, breathe in deeply, hold the breath, tighten your legs, tighten your stomach, tighten your chest, tighten your hands, neck, all the face muscles tight, tight, and relax. Once again, breathe in deeply, hold the breath, tighten your legs, tighten your stomach, chest, neck, face muscles, tighten your hands, make a fist and tighten it. Raise your legs up a bit, raise your head, up a bit as well, tight, 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 and relax. Relax each and every muscles of your body. What do you feel now? You feel that each and every muscle that was really tight suddenly became loose and is completely relaxed. There is no stress in your mind as well. Your mind is relaxed. Your body is also completely relaxed. You are at complete peace. Focus your mind on deep breathing. Breathe in deeply. Slowly breathe out. Breathe in deeply. Slowly breathe out. Breathe in deeply, slowly breathe out. Keep your eyes closed, come back to the world, feet together, hands by the side, slide the right hand above your head, bend the left leg from the knee, roll on to the right side, with the support of the left hand on the floor, come to the sitting posture. Keep your eyes closed. Rub the palms together to energize your body. Place them over your eyes, make the cups of your palms and place them over your eyes and open your eyes inside the darkness of your palms. This is the best way to energize your eyes when they are really tired. You should do the, if you are working on computer every day, you should do this two, three times in a day to relax your eyes. Again, close your eyes, rub the palms together, move them over your whole body, first the head, cheeks, neck, shoulders, upper arm, forearm, rub the palms again, move them over your front neck, chest, abdomen, hips, thighs, knee, calf, ankle, and the big toe and shake the hands in front and sit in the Gyan Mudra. You can open your eyes.
will breathe in to laugh with our lips closed. So breathe in deeply. Keep your lips closed and laugh. You can't laugh loudly, but you can laugh. Twice we'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> Second time. <laughs> And relax, raise your hands up. We laugh open with the open mouth as loudly as you can, twice. So breathe in deeply and start. <laughs> One more time, breathe in deeply. <laughs> and relax. Thank you everybody for joining today morning's class. Before we finish, we'll say last home, but I would a gentle reminder that if you have any special request for different asanas or different exercises or you want to change anything regarding yogic exercises please do give your feedback to the email that you see in front of you now sit in the gyan mudra and we'll recite om last time before we disperse breathe in deeply Oh, and relax. Thank you.